to another episode of Black and Blue. Even though I am wearing blue today. You are. Uh, a lot of blue. Blue sweater. Woo! Yep. Uh, the Fixer. That, mm -hmm. that is this episode. The Fixer. Uh, people want Jesus to be the Fixer. I know mm -hmm. I'm guilty of this. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty Same sure here. Too. Same I mean, here. The Fixer. Right. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we see that actually in uh, Matthew chapter 9 with uh, a narrative that is near and dear to our hearts. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, yeah. and actually to a lot of our hearts. I think a lot of people like this narrative. Mm -hmm. and, and, and which narrative am I speaking of? Yeah, Deacons? Matthew chapter 9 with uh, Mr. Paralytic. He's brought by his friends to Jesus and um, they they want him to, to fix him. Wait, 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 you mean Mr. Par Paralytic can't walk there himself? Uh-huh, yeah! Thank you, Pastor Obvious! <laughs> yeah, Mr. Paralytic, Mr. Paralytic, his legs don't work, and so the mm -hmm. friends, you know, they hear Jesus is in town, yeah. they're like, here's the fixer! Here's the guy yeah. that's, like, fixing ears and eyes he's and He's driving mouths. out demons. Driving out demons, he's raising the dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, our friend's legs, that's a cinch, easy peasy mm -hmm. for Jesus, mm -hmm. the fixer. Exactly. So they bring him to Jesus, mm -hmm. and they put him down in front of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And what does Jesus do? <gasps> he says, your sins are forgiven. Yeah, he says, take heart, my son. Your, your sins, sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. How did the friends feel at that moment? Uh, 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 where's the walking? We want him fixed. We want him to be able to... You know, not be Mr. Paralytic. Forgiveness, that's it? Exactly. That's why we came to you, Jesus? Forgiveness? You can obviously see the man's legs don't work and forgiveness is all you got? <laughs> They're just some words. Yeah. What? Why? Yeah. Words are on? cheap. Yeah. Come on. We want action. We want something we can see. Nike it, Jesus. Just do it. Uh, I think we have been uh, in this kind of boat before mm -hmm. with the friends, right? Mm -hmm. We see Jesus as the fixer, mm -hmm. and we go to him with uh, well, yeah. you know, our prayers. We, we, you, yeah, we go to him going, Jesus, fix my grades. Jesus, fix my busted brain. Jesus, fix what's going on with my parents and and their, their troubled marriage. Jesus, fix my friendship. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can fill in the blanks. All yeah. of us have things that we want our Lord to fix. Well, yeah, I mean, we all have this laundry list mm -hmm. of uh, problems that we want Jesus to fix. Mm -hmm. And uh, and a lot of times we, we don't see it happening mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. What's really interesting is the scribes, uh, they were kind of overhearing everything that was going on with this scene. Mm -hmm. And they're grumbling because mm -hmm. Jesus, uh, to them, is blaspheming. He's acting like he's God, and that's, mm -hmm. and that's a sin. Well, it's not a sin when you're actually God. So funny uh, how that works. Yeah, it is. It is. And so Jesus, you know, he, he can see right into their hearts and know their evil thoughts. And so he asks the question, which is easier? Which is easier mm -hmm. to uh, to say your sins are forgiven or rise, Take pick it. up your bed and walk? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I think oftentimes, you know, we we, we would we, we would say the harder thing is pick up your mat yeah, and walk. Yeah. The things that are on that list, that laundry list mm -hmm. of, of problems that we mm -hmm. want fixed, mm -hmm. uh, we we think those are the harder things for Jesus mm -hmm. to do, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, the thing is, though, uh, friends, is that no matter what we think is the biggie problem, we need to fix it. Mm -hmm. Nothing comes even close to to a problem of sin. Of sin, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I we're mean, all going to die. We're all going to die. Yeah, I mean, Jesus, all the people he fixed, you know, the ears, the eyes, mm -hmm. the mouths, the mm -hmm. legs, all the people he fixed, they they still died. They still died. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of uh, the scariest things is to uh, die and be at the judgment with our sins on our backs. Mm -hmm. That is hellaciously bad, mm -hmm. right? Really, really mm -hmm. bad. I mean, it will crush us, kill us, condemn us forever. Mm -hmm. Er, so unnecessary. Yeah. Because we have a Jesus who binds himself to our biggest problem, sin, mm -hmm. and he dies as that beggar king. Mm -hmm. So that now there's no more condemnation for us who are forgiven. Mm -hmm. Freely, fully, forever forgiven. Mm -hmm. Forgiven. Yeah. yeah. That 
that's actually the harder thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Jesus way saying those processed. words. Yeah. Well, why is that, Deaconess? Please tell me. Why is it so much harder for Jesus to say, you are forgiven? I mean, it cost him Good Friday. I mean, he came, was born of the Virgin Mary, lived a perfect life for you and for us, for me, you know, and then he goes to Good Friday. He suffers. He's in agony. All of our problems, all, everything is piled on him and he cries all out, all the bad. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And then he dies. Yeah, he bears all that into the black hole of his death. Mm -hmm. And he rises mm -hmm. on Easter morning. Those lungs of his, he fills, right? He mm -hmm. breathes in the air. Mm -hmm. And he breathes out. And he speaks words. Words of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. This is exactly why Jesus went through hell, literally, so he could stand before us in the divine service and say, and say, and say, take heart. Your sins are forgiven. Exactly. Your mm -hmm. sins. Mm -hmm. My sins. Deaconess's sins. Mm -hmm. The world's sin forgive in. That is the harder thing. This is, it's, why yeah. Jesus, it's why Jesus became man. He became man to do for every man the hardest thing. Mm -hmm. And that is bleed, die, rise mm -hmm. to win for us eternal life. Eternal life. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness. 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 It's the ultimate fix. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we're, we're explaining that, right? Right. Yeah. Forgiveness really is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Right? It is. And, and we know where to get it. There's mm -hmm. actually a place to get forgiveness. Uh, yeah. a, a, you know, a, a place that has a sign that says forgiveness here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. that's at church. Church. I think yes. Luther, uh, Marty Luther, liked to say the church is a mouth house of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to say forgiveness. Uh, the church is the forgiveness factory, right? Mm -hmm. Pumping out forgiveness like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> but it's actually that very forgiveness that yeah. gives us a tomorrow and another day and another all the way into eternity mm -hmm. through life, through death, into the resurrection and everlasting life, right? Right. So you're saying that forgiveness factory, it stuffs our ears, stuffs our mouths, and washes us. With forgiveness. Exactly. With forgiveness. We're and saturated with yes. it. And forgiveness has so much fruit for mm -hmm. the Christian life. I mean, a bumper crop of good works, mm -hmm. peace with God, right? Mm -hmm. Everlasting life. Mm -hmm. uh, the final fruit, of course, being what? Mm -hmm. the, the resurrection. The resurrection, our own Easter morning on the last day. Oh, yep. With oh, brand man. new bodies, you know. Oh, yeah. We're going to be restored standing. Restored bodies. Resurrected yeah. bods, yeah. yeah. Now, what's really fascinating is that this Jesus who has been forgiving us all of these years and we mm -hmm. believe it mm -hmm. we believe it we stake our eternal destiny on this forgiveness this very Jesus on the last day will mm -hmm. stand on this earth stand on the last day at our grave and say rise rise, rise take your bed and walk and walk. come home yeah. come home Jesus will lead us out of our graves in our resurrected bods right uh -huh. and lead us where to the Lamb's High Feast. To, to the Father's house. To the house, right? To yes. the Father's house where there will be the Lamb's High Feast. And there, in that home, it will be amazing. Because everything that is broken and busted and bleeding in this world will be what? Restored. Fixed. 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 Jesus, the forgiver. That's how he wants us to see him now. The forgiver. That, mm -hmm. is, that, is, that is the most important thing. Because the one who is the forgiver will ultimately be the fixer, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. On the last day, everything broken, made whole, new, mm -hmm. fixed, fixed, for capital you. F, mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. forever. So this Jesus will actually end up fixing everything, our busted brains, mm -hmm. debilitating diseases, mm -hmm. feuding, fighting. Fractured families, mm -hmm. our loneliness, mm -hmm. our anxiety. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. All that's on that laundry list of problems. Mm -hmm. Right? Fixed. That laundry list will be no more. It'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be shredded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There'll be this cool paper shredder in <laughs> Oh, dear friends. So go see your Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's at church. Mm -hmm. He stands before you as the forgiver. Mm -hmm. And he says, take heart. 
child, your sins are forgiven. That word assures you that one day, one day, the resurrection day, Easter morning, your own Easter morning, everything wrong, everything broken and busted will be healed, restored, fixed, forever, for you, for you, for you. That's another episode of Black <laughs> and Blue. Yep. Yeah. By his wounds, we are healed. We are fixed. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye.